Hello, today I'll show you the potential of ISR1 Belice plugin. The plugin aims to create a primary sectorization of a territory following a seismic event, thought an automatic routing and using only data available and freely accessible on the net in every part of the world. The instrument shall be used where the sectorization carried out during emergency planning and civil protection is not already available. Local authorities generally have more up-to-date and better quality data. Let's go! The plugin to work needs Software open source QGIS 3.16 Knowledge of used GIS software Internet access Shake map layer generally available after 20 minutes from the events on many geographic internet sites Estimated population data layer in this slide, I show you the main international internet sites where you can download the data related to the shake map and population data. The plugin has been developed in Python language and can be used with QGIS software. Data from OpenStreetMap are also automatically downloaded and used from the plugin. Let's take an example. I took as example the earthquake in Pertinia, Croatia. This is the point of epicenter. This is the shake map layer I downloaded from the USGS website. I gave you the link in the initial slide. This is the population data layer I downloaded from the Warpop website. I also gave you the link in the initial slide. Turn on the layer of the shake map and we can see the shaking lines. And if I open the table with the attributes, I see the PGA value field shaking. The name is Param value. And if I turn on the layer, the population data, we will see the raster map where the lighter coloring indicates more population and where it is dark less population. After you install the ASR1 Belice plugin, we will find these tools. The first thing to do is to decide if we want an impact area of greater than 0.4 PGA or greater than 0.2 PGA. Clearly, this choice affects the final dimensions of impact area. The smaller the PGA value, the larger the impact area. To make faster uses, a value of PGA greater than 0.4 plugin asks for shake map layer in the field of PGA attributes. And then start. After a few seconds, we will have a new layer called impact area, drawn as a red line showing the surface with the value of PGA greater than 0.4. The second thing to do is to open the tools in ASR and then sectorization. When we click, we will open a window asking us the layer impact area created previously, the shake map layer, the population data layer, and then the shake map again. And then start. While the plugin ends, I will explain what it's doing. The plugin now downloads data from the OpenStreetMap site only inside the impact area. Split the downloaded data into two layers. The first one is called waylines and the second one buildings. The waylines are roads, rivers, railways, paths, administrative borders and though them divides the impact area into sectors. Buildings, you know what they are. In addition to these layers, the plugin will create two more layers, the sector no buildings and the sector with buildings. Well, is the process is over. As I just told you, the plugin will give us new layers. Here they are. Wayline, buildings, sector no buildings, sector with buildings. Now I'm turning on layers one by one. This is the shake map. This is the way line. This is the buildings. 
The layer I'm most interested for the ISR one is the sector with buildings. If we open it, we can see that it is categorized in four parts. Extreme priority, high priority, medium priority, low priority. This division comes out of an algorithm that combines the severity of the PGA value with the population density for each sector. This is the extreme priority. This is the high priority. The medium priority. And then zoom in the center the of the area. I turn off the layer, low priority and the medium priority. And then I interrogate its attribute by clicking on a sector. Let's look at the attributes we have. ID, unique number that identifies the sector. Surface area and square meter, build up surface area and square meter, number of buildings, number of people, population density, number of team of assessment to send into sector, param value equal PGA value, and then we have LAT and loan, the geographical coordinates, Link are the URL of Google Map, Sector and Sector 1 are values that we use for priority calculation. Let's take another example. I select a sector and I click on the Google Map link in the attributes. Automatically opens a Google Map on your browser and it fixes the point that it's the center of the sector. And then you can use it for navigation tools and to send the emergency teams. As you can see in this point, there are still images of the last earthquake. Thank you all for your attention.